hey what's up I'm Rachel Starr uh, so a lot of people have been commenting recently that um, I'm really confident in videos and um, you were like how do you get so confident um, how are you so comfortable talking to people so I thought I would actually address how to be confident um, start off there are two types of confidence number one is confidence in a specific thing so let's say you want to get really confident in giving speeches let's say you want to get really confident in you know basketball or like a specific sport or like doing a specific thing playing the flute anything that you do knitting i don't know whatever you got going on okay so here's a trick to being confident in a specific thing okay do it every single day do it every single day even if only for like five ten seconds do it every single day okay because that's more than usually most people do um the other thing is do it in repetition over and over and over and over and over and over and over, okay? So if you've ever done martial arts, there's something that you know, you'll hear a lot in martial arts called muscle memory, meaning you practice the same movements over and over and over again. That way, when you're thrown into a situation, your body is so used to doing those movements that it can do them without thinking. That's what you need to do even with you know, whatever it is, whether it's playing the flute, whether it's knitting. So if it's like a performance-based thing and you're worried about, like, say, choking on stage, practice that thing in repetition over and over and over. Dancing, whatever. I teach runway classes, so I actually teach posture and stuff to um, people of all ages. And when I do turns, that's what I tell them. Learn how to do it, then go home, do it over, 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 over. Okay, that way when you're on stage and you're nervous, your body knows what to do without thinking. All right, so those are my two big tips to getting confident at anything. Notice I didn't say getting good, because here's how you get good at something. You find someone worse than you, and you go do it beside them. That's all being good is. Good is a relative term, okay? Am I good compared to someone who's never done something? Yeah. Am I good compared to someone who's been, let's say, you know, a master at and been doing it for, you know, 20 plus years? No, okay? So don't worry about being good at at something. Worry about being confident in some, at something and always learning. All right. So now we're going to move on to the second type of confidence and that's an overall confidence. Okay. What's really interesting is I think a lot of people come off as confident who are really just outgoing. So it might come off easier to them to talk to people, to walk up people. They might like the way they hold themselves might seem like they're super confident and they're not. Just the personality they were born with is more of an outgoing personality than let's say an introverted person who doesn't talk as much. But what I've learned over the years of being an incredibly introverted person is uh, how to kind of grow in overall confidence. Um, first thing with this, understand this is not like poof, magic, like you listen to this video, do what I say, and tomorrow you're gonna be like super confident in yourself. It takes practice. One of the coolest things was um, I was out with my brother and some friends eating once and he's vegan. And this other girl at the table is like, that's so cool, you're vegan. And she's like, you know, I tried to do that, but I couldn't do it. And he goes, yeah, it takes practice. And I thought it was really funny. I'm like, yeah, you know, that lifestyle of eating a certain way, it, it isn't just, you know, okay, now I'm going to be vegan. It's, it takes practice to be able to do that, to be able to just cut all these different meats and dairies and different things out of your diet. Side note, I'm not that in any way, shape or form, but that's little brother's choice. So confidence in most things in life, it's going to take practice. All right. Start now. Okay, start working on it now with little things. And then, you know, in a few months, I always say six months. Six months is a good time to be like, okay, so six months from now, whatever that is, all right, decide this is where I wanna be. Okay, six months is a good time to like make major changes in your life. All right, so <laughs> few things here. Biggest one, okay, posture. All right, get used to sitting up straight, holding your chin up. I always tell people this, hold your chin up. Okay, because this says you're not confident. Also, where am I looking? I'm looking at the ground. Too many of us, we train ourselves to look down at the ground. And then this like awesome little thing called cell phones came out. And then we had something to look at as we looked down at the ground. Even if we were just like, just doing something to like distract ourselves so we wouldn't have to make eye contact. Okay, that's how you miss out on life. Look up. I don't, cause I'm not saying don't use your cell phone. I'm just saying don't use it as a crutch to keep your head down. Up. All right, make eye contact with people. That's a really hard one to do. All right, and I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna take practice. Um, 
with like my, I actually teach little kids sometimes eye contact, and the way I do is I put a spot on the wall and I make them walk up to that spot, turn around, and they have another spot on the other side of the wall. Walk to that spot and just practice walking with your head up, okay? I say whenever there's an adult in the room, look at making eye contact. And that goes for people of all ages. It's crazy how like, you know, I'm at the gym, I'm different places, and so many people, like you're walking, they'll immediately look down and avoid eye contact with you. Whereas I'm like extreme which I think is like a key to being like a psychopath or something. But I do look confident as I look crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how many people have a hard time talking in public, whether it's giving a speech in a classroom, in a work environment, or just talking to people you don't normally talk to. Um, I used to like get so nervous just having to talk to things like waiters and different things. I could just, I didn't like doing it, all right? so. If that's you, here's a great way to practice that. When you're at home, when you're in your car, when you're wherever, practice talking out loud. Get used to the sound of your own voice. Usually that's what happens is someone goes to do something and it's like your voice scares you. All right, uh, We have the tendency to practice in our heads things. Um, we like to, like if you're in acting or anything, you're probably used to practicing your lines in your head. Don't do that. Practice out loud. And this goes for anything though, even if it's just you want to get more comfortable talking to girls or you want to get more comfortable talking to guys or whatever. Practice hearing your own voice. Practice what you want to say. Not to the point that it comes out rehearsed, but to the point that when it comes out of your mouth, you're not like, oh, that sounded weird. And then you get all insecure about what you just said. Okay, now first of all, I'm going to say this and I know some people are going to be like, bah, 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 bah. exercise. All right? Exercise. Now, don't exercise to lose weight, unless you're trying to lose weight, then whatever. No, when it comes to confidence building, exercising is huge, okay, because it makes you aware of your body. So whether you're a size double zero or a size 20 something or whatever guy sizes are, I'm not good at guy sizes, um, exercise so you get used to your body. Here are some exercises that I think are really going to make you more comfortable. Number one, push-ups. Okay, there's something especially for girls. When girls are able to like knock out, you know, five, ten push-ups, like regular push-ups, it makes us feel good about ourselves. You can kind of like tones up your arms a little bit, makes you feel more confident. All right, guys, it seems to be pull-ups. Girls too, if you can do pull-ups, I'm still working on that one. <sighs> I'm popular. I have a text message. Anyway, <laughs> so like push-ups, pull-ups, and squats are another really good one. Again, I'm not saying to do this to lose weight. I'm saying do this to kind of help shape your body, and it's going to like build up that confidence, you know, to see yourself, you know, let's say a month ago you could only do five push-ups, and then a month later now you're able to do like 10 without stopping, 20, 30, you know, etc. You know, even if it's just one or two a night, do that. Get used to like feeling your body and feeling, you know, having the control to change it and make it stronger. It really, really bugs me how often I talk to people and they've never taken any sort of fighting class. I'm like, you've never taken self-defense, especially girls, enroll in a self-defense class. At least just knowing some basic movements. I mean, at least know how to throw a punch, okay? Whether it's just a simple jab, cross, hook, whatever. Learn how to throw a punch. Um, it makes me sad when I hear people say, yeah, I'm scared to leave the house at night, or yeah, I'm scared to walk alone. I'm like, that's inexcusable. You shouldn't be. Okay, um, obviously there's dangerous places around the world that you need to be careful, but for the most part, you shouldn't feel afraid. And I think everybody needs to at least know the basics of how to defend themselves should something, you know, unexpected happen. Bam! Last thing when it comes to confidence, all right? Bullies. I don't like bullies. I have a really big problem with bullies. The thing is, no one really bullies me. In fact, no one outside of me ever really bullies me. I think it's probably because I'm a little scary. I don't know. I think it would take a lot of guts for someone to like walk up and make fun of me. Um, but even as a kid, I was never really bullied by anyone but myself. And we are our own worst bullies. So you need to stop your mind from thinking. Whenever you start to think negative thoughts, and someone the other day was like, well, I always try and think positive. I'm like, no, nah, nah, it's not about thinking positive, okay? It's not about telling yourself good things. It's about stopping the bad stuff, all right? You look in the mirror, you don't like what you see. No, don't start telling yourself you're fat. Don't start telling yourself you're ugly. My nose is too big. My hair is too dry. My, my skin is too broken out, my blah, blah, blah. Stop it, okay? Be like, no, don't allow yourself to think those thoughts. Stop them in their tracks and acknowledge that you're stopping them. Don't just let, you, don't just let your mind just tear you down, okay? If someone were to walk up to you, like pretty much if I was anywhere walking around and I just saw like two people in, let's say, 
one person is just telling the other one, you're ugly, you're fat, you're stupid, I'm going to interject. I'm going to be like, hey, what you doing? You know, take a walk. I don't care what the situation is, take a walk. All right, but we do that to ourselves on a daily basis inside our heads. Things that we wouldn't allow anyone to ever do to us or we wouldn't allow for other people to do to other people as a close friend or something like that. Stop that. Do not be your own bully. I hope these tips helped you. Um, if you have some more, bust them down in the comments. My name is Rachel Starr and um, yeah.